Look, there might be a cautionary lesson in LeBron for kids. This is what happens when you attempt to leave high school a year early to join the NBA. And it's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid $100 million a year to bounce a ball. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. Boxes. Everyone, whether they know it or not, are more comfortable with placing you in a box rather than encouraging you to outgrow the box, to think outside the box, to recognize that, well, there is no box. It's as if they're literally telling you, your limits can only go as far as I allow you. <laughs> it's crazy that people only have a certain level of comfortability towards your growth, your potential, and your position in life. I played the game of basketball all my life. I played it well too. I played in high school and did well. I left my mark there and established my own piece of history. I went to college and I played well there too. And although I was told to confine myself to a certain box, I refused and still left a piece of history there, even when limits were placed on me. And from there, I played professional ball in both the WNBA and overseas. I accomplished so much in my lifetime, and I'm proud of it. But I noticed that although my love for the game never left, my passion left me. It was confusing, and I was at a loss. I just couldn't understand why I lost my passion just like that, out of nowhere. But at the same time, I knew I was ready to walk away and try something new. What I was not ready for was other people's reactions to my retiring. <laughs> Can you believe that some folks were more upset by my retiring than I was? I just don't understand why you quit. What else are you gonna do? All that's left for you to do is work a nine to five. You still got it. But when I was still trying to play, people would ask me, you still playing ball? When you gonna give that up? Aren't you a little bit too old to be trying to play ball? <laughs> you know, if I listened to people about what I should do with my life, I would be a mess. But I learned that people, either intentionally or unintentionally, they subconsciously are more comfortable with you in a box. But the blessing in that is your choice to be placed in a box or not. And I choose to not be placed in the box. Playing basketball is not all I'm good for, so I refuse to just shut up and dribble. I'm smart, I'm funny, I'm creative, and I'm a filmmaker. I consider myself blessed to be able to have two dreams, one to be a pro basketball player and the second dream to be a filmmaker. So far, I'm one for two. Who knows? Maybe I want an Oscar one day. I mean, as basketball players, we're really supposed to shut up and dribble, but I'm glad, I'm glad we do a little bit more than that. Um, thank you, Academy, for this amazing honor. Thank you, John Williams, for such a wonderful piece of music. Thank you, uh, Verizon, for believing in the film. Thank you, Molly Carter. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And to my wife, Vanessa, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca, Ti amo con tutto il mio cuore. You are my inspiration. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.